Hey Mike, thanks. Well, as it sees a growing number of homeless people in our city, the city of Reno says outreach to those individuals is becoming more important than ever. The city has what it calls a clean and safe team. They work 365 days a year to address public health and welfare issues within the city. Michelle Lorenzo has more. If you're on McCarran Boulevard in Sparks looking to get on the interstate, you might notice groups of people living in tents nearby, like Kendra Strite. I've been here for like about five, six days. But just a couple of days ago, she was asked to leave the area. People aren't allowed to camp on state property, and according to NDOT, they're given about 72 hours to a week of notice before they have to leave. When we asked Wright what her plan is now, she said, I'm still trying to figure that out right now. We told her about the new super shelter, which is expected to open next week. <laughs> And she was happy to hear that it will allow her to bring her pets. She did say she wishes she knew about the opportunity ahead of time. I wish that we weren't looked down on because we're homeless. That people feel like they can't help or they can't do anything. You know, and people know about stuff, I wish they would speak up and that they would tell us about it. That's actually part of Antonio Gilmore's job. He focuses on cleanup and homeless outreach in the city of Reno. Just because they work with like low income and stuff. He and the clean and safe team hit the streets almost every day to tell people struggling with homelessness about resources available for them. If we want to see the, the, the streets of Reno clear, I mean, we need to bring the resources to them, especially the further we get away from like the, like downtown area, it gets even harder because those are the people that really don't want the help. So we got to take the help to them. The city of Reno also plans to tell more people about new opportunities like the Nevada Cares campus. We're ready to go. We're ready to welcome up to 900 plus of our neighbors to be able to come here immediately starting on the 10th and grand opening on the 17th to be able to say you have a home in our community and you're welcome. Covering the story, Michelle Lorenzo, 2 News.